Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will make a electric vehicle charging system in a MATLAB Simulink. So I have already made this system because it will take more time to make live. So that's why I will just open it. I will try to explain each component that uh, how these components work what are these values so this is the system in which uh, this is the three phase input source and uh, this is the series branch because uh, we will not connect the three phase source uh, directly with the uh, load so that's why we require these series branches because in the conductors uh, the conductors have their own ohm value so that's why we require this branch and this is the three phase voltage and current measurement block which will measure the three phase voltage and three phase current and uh, by uh, which we will calculate power factor by which we will calculate power factor these uh, these blocks will calculate power factor is um, this block is power three phase instantaneous it will uh, convert uh, three phase voltage and, and three phase current into active power and reactive power then these two blocks will calculate the square values and then it will add up uh, both square values of active and reactive power and then it will square root it and then it will divide by that value and this is the active power so we will get power factor value and uh, this uh, is the again a series branch and this is the ac to dc converter so we have required this converter because uh, the battery uh, will be charged by DC so that's why we will convert three phase AC into DC so basically we are we have not any other load we have load uh, like this uh, we have load uh, of uh, lithium lithium battery to be charged by this three phase supply and this is the lithium ion battery and uh, these lithium ion battery have three things one is the state of charge and this is the current of the battery and this is the voltage so and uh, this this uh, i connect this uh, voltage measurement block to measure the voltage of the output of the ac to dc converter and uh, these uh, two methods are one is the capacitor bank this is the capacitor bank i have decommend i will decommend them so it clearly now clearly this this is the capacitor bank and this is the cyclonus motor or cyclonus condenser will improve the power factor so first we will try capacitor bank method and we will improve power factor and then we will try this uh, yeah, synchronous condenser method we will see uh, both results of the power factor improvement by capacitor bank and synchronous so first i will de uh, comment out these both blocks and I commented out both blocks. Now I will run the simulation and see what is the power factor value. I will run it. You can see uh, before uh, uh, attaching any uh, power factor improvement system, and uh, the power factor is 0 0.62. So now I will attach this uh, capacitor bank with the system and see the power factor value. So I have a, I have decommend this block 
and I will run it. Now you can see the power factor is improved to 0 0.91. And uh, we will see the see the output the reactive power by double clicking on this capacitor bank. And this is the reactive uh, power which is supplied by the capacitor bank. When this is the RMS value, the voltage, and this is the frequency, and uh, the power factor is improved. Now, I will again uh, comment out this block and run the simulation. Factor is again 0 0.62. Now, I will attach this block. I will put it. Now I will run the simulation. Now you can see the power factor is improved to 0 0.97. And uh, the reactive power which is supplied by this uh, synchronous condenser is uh, 1846 watt. That is the reactive power. So I will see the uh, inside configuration of this uh, Acronus condenser. I will double click on it. So I am using here 50 Hertz, 400 Volt and 8.1 Kilo KVA 1500 RPM mode. So when you click on it, then you can see the uh, other uh, motors varieties. Yeah, and this is the mechanical power which is I am giving it as a uh, from this uh, constant these two constants will what value we give to these constants it means uh, we are giving it uh, these values I will see these parameters now these are the parameters and the load flow then the load flow and uh, I comment it uh, you can see the capacitor bank, the load flow. Now you can see the three phase input three phase. This is the uh, voltage RM is 381 and frequency is 50 hertz. And uh, here you can see the battery current uh, voltage and, and state of charge it means the battery is fully charged and the current value is negative here because uh, this uh, battery is giving uh, current in the anti side because uh, in the when we charge the battery it becomes positive and when we get the current it will be negative so that's why it is negative and uh, this is the power we block we require this block by when we use the these uh, components now i will show some demo how these components uh, you can uh, import here so click on the library browser now here go to this log this is the sim escape click on it now go to the electrical part now go to the specialized power system now go to uh, these are the uh, where we require the where I imported the components this is the power we block when we import any component from these uh, uh, libraries then we require this power we block to run the simulation so these are the components these are the machines these are the passive elements the power electronic switches the power grid elements so hence you can import it when you click on it and then right click on it then add block to model then it will appear here and then I connect them with each other so if you understand it uh, well then like it and if you not understand then comment out I will answer your query Thank you very much.